Like it literally sounds absurd. Are we surprised at all that I did not get a call back from Best Buy today? Good morning, everybody. How are you today? We have a just been spending the morning trying to be intentional with breakfast yeah. time. Danielle especially yeah. wanted to do that. It's true. Yeah. It's like a dream. Like I always pictured family breakfast, sitting down, things, and it's like a big meal. She's really been the cat on breakfast. And we just don't do that it's like busy and it's like okay here's a pancake for you and then you're just standing there serving constantly and like there's no it's just fast paced and so i thought to myself if you can dream it you can do it yes, so i'm trying to be more intentional about like making a good meal even if it's a little later it's 10 o'clock but where we can just sit down and enjoy it together absolutely so last night um we spent a little bit of time, we were gonna make some quesadillas, and we did make quesadillas, but we ended up making extra um, corn tortillas. So we've been making our own homemade corn tortillas, way cheaper, especially if you need to be gluten-free, um, and very tasty, way tastier than when you think, think, basically anything we buy at the stores. Excuse me, you're gonna knock my food off, and that's gonna be very, very not okay. That's what we did this morning. We're make, we made breakfast. Burrito, taco, something. Tacos, yeah, more fun tacos. Breakfast tacos. And I am here for it. Everybody say thank you to mom. Thank you, mom. Thank you, mom. There has, like, can I, is there a customer relations department that I can speak with? Okay, I'm free to apply to us. Let me just go ahead and check that for you. And I can definitely transfer you to them for the further assistance. I'm sorry, what department are you transferring me to? For the services, appliances, the product support. I'm just trying to speak to like customer relations. Okay, and for this one, they want me to transfer you to our appliance department. Yes. For the product support. Sure, thank you. I said, sir, I know that you are reading from a script. And that's frustrating in and of itself. I understand why you have to, but it's still irritating. So please let me talk to somebody else that doesn't just say, I know that's frustrating. I'm a shopper too, so that would be frustrating to me. I can't do anything. And then he put me on hold just to try to get a supervisor and came back and just said, sorry, but they're all in a meeting. This call will be monitored. They're all in a meeting. He didn't say they're on the phone with somebody else. He said they're all in a meeting right now. So all I can tell you is to go into the store. He moved me back to like the main thing. Press five to check availability, make a purchase, or get help choosing a product. Press six. Okay, so I finally thought I was like getting somewhere because I had to call back. That guy just looped me back to the. To the beginning of the, you know the worst part is that's not a warm transfer, so they just basically transfer you back to the main line and then you just have to start all over. And you get someone who has no idea, they ask your name, your phone number, all the things, because they like, it's just like starting over. It's so frustrating. Game over. Game over. Sorry, so, um, I finally was like called the store, the local store, and was like trying to get the hold there. And it was like, do you want to talk to the store? And I was like, yes, that's it, talk to the store. Talk, talk to the store. And then I'm waiting on hold, it said seven minutes. It was 23 minutes. And then the guy picked up and I was like, immediately knew that it was not the store. And I said, are you in the Winston-Salem store? And he said, no, he was not in the physical location. He was in the call center and I said, He said, tell me what's going on. And I said, no, I will not. I will not tell you what's going on because I've already repeated it a million times and I'm not repeating it again until I am on with the person who can help me. <laughs> so everybody keeps just transferring me to someone else and then I have to tell them all over from the beginning and I'm just like, I just need to talk to someone who can help. And he was like, I can set up a callback for the manager of the store 
and he can call you. And I was like, that would be perfect. So he scheduled it. Will somebody actually call me? I'm not sure. Um, but that's what we really need is to talk to the person at the store and say, hey, your people marked this as excellent. They should not have, it should have been fair. Like that was incredibly misleading. We're now out a lot of time and energy, gas money to drive and pick it up. Like it's, so <clears throat> there's update. I am, my phone is in the windowsill because we don't have cell phone reception. Pretty much, we don't have service pretty much anywhere in our house. So my phone's sitting with John while he's working. I'm just waiting and I was like, you know, I'm gonna be like anxiously waiting this call all day and then he's probably not gonna actually call the day. You know that when you're like, okay, they're about to close. Ah. I feel like that's what's about to happen, but we'll see. I'd tell you to pray, but hopefully it'll be resolved by the time you're actually seeing this. Phone still hasn't rung. No, nope, not yet. You think he's gonna call? Probably tomorrow. You think so? Probably yeah, tomorrow like when we're busy and can't answer the phone. Or their busiest times. Yeah, so they're especially the holidays. Like, yeah, especially this weekend. So they're probably like, I ain't going by bed today. I'll call you tomorrow, maybe. But I don't want to drive all the way there with the dishwasher and then like, and not, I don't know. I just, I'm like imagining worst case scenario. <laughs> I want to know that they're going to resolve it before we load everybody up oh, and go there. Or I could just send you, but I don't think you want to deal with it without a resolution before you go. Right. I, mean, I am the- I try to do it and I'll do it. But it'll probably just end up me returning the thing and then us buying that newer one. But it's that still costs more? For that price. No, asking for the price of the, because they, because here's the thing. It'd be one thing it feels like, you know, kind of, marked correctly, like where it's kind of like, you okay, know, a little bit of- good and there was one little dent. And right, and then there's like, oh, I mean, maybe, you know, it's hard for me to say like that that's not really good. I mean, it's looked pretty good, maybe it's over that. But the fact that it is like, excellent, it's spelled out what that means. And therefore I can be like, no, this is not what you advertised it as. You, you said it was this and it is not this, it's clearly this. So either give us the money back and give us a price for the new one that we wanted. Sorry, What's he doing? It's just his face while you're talking. Or, or. Oh, he's scared. Or. The mama. Or, yeah. Or give us a really good price on this one. I'll show you guys what we're talking about if you missed the last video. Okay, here's the dishwasher. So you can see where it says, condition excellent. For what it's worth, I looked on the website at their like excellent, good, and fair, and the condition descriptions. And it said, like new. Excellent means like new, no visible damage. But then you have, you can see it from here, right there and right there. So it's like, Okay, so right here is a big dent, and then right here is another one. And like, you can kind of see it this way. Yeah, especially how it kind of get dented in. It was also supposed to come with a box. Part of the like new is that they will put it in a box or it'll have its original box, which it doesn't. So that's why we're frustrated. I knew I was buying an open box item, but it is not as it was described, so. All right, you guys, we just put our house to bed except for that giant bowl of nasty food that is going to our chickens. Um, it's not nasty food, it's just leftover scraped plates and whatnot, and the chickens will scarf it down. What do you think, John? <coughs> he said, do not put me in that because my hair looks crazy, but we all know that his hair always looks kind of crazy. I'm about to buzz it again. Remember that one time I buzzed it? No, please. That's where I'm, I'm close to that point. It doesn't, it's when you wear your hat. When he wears his hat, it dries his hair out and makes it frizzy. When he doesn't wear his hat, it like stays alive longer. Anyway, are we surprised at all that I did not get a call back from Best Buy today? I told you they probably wouldn't call you till tomorrow. Maybe, I wonder if he'll even call tomorrow, but I don't want to spend all of tomorrow waiting for a phone call that will never come. <sighs> Balls in your core, Best Buy. What do we do to deserve this? This was not our best Honestly, buy. Honestly, this was not. 
Hopefully they'll make it right. We are drinking our minerals and going to bed. It's so out of focus, just so you know. Look at that. John's all sassy. Just I'm always. I'm like that very, it feels nice to go to bed with a clean, at least main room. You don't want to see the rest of our house. The rest of our house is a disaster, but at it least the kitchen, nice. living room, so dining area is clean. With that, we'll see you tomorrow. What's up guys? No. Peep the mustache. <laughs> Cole, what do you think about the mustache? The dad stash. Hey, Cohen. I'm your dad. One day they'll grow up and we'll move out, Here and then I'm left. With this. <laughs> with this. Where are you going to stay? <laughs> with this. Mom, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm next time, I'm hoping Dad will let me do it for him. I guess I'm gonna leave on him. I'm gonna have it all shaved except for a line for two parts here. Beautiful. Like it's like that. That would have been beautiful. Wow. I would have said I mean business. I should have let you do it yesterday because that would have let the people at Best Buy know I mean business and I'm not backing down. I'm not backing. Well, that's what this half of this, this mustache means is it means I mean business. Oh. I mean business. I have a business to tend to. Anyways, today's the day. Dishwasher, going back. We don't know what's gonna happen. We don't know what they're gonna say. We called them, they said, sorry, go to the store. Thanks for nothing. That was what day? I don't know. Sunday? It Sunday. is now Wednesday. And we have not had a call back at all. Um, that's where we are. So John is just gonna go to the store, and he's gonna he's gonna let them know. He's gonna beat him up, babe. No, don't say that. I didn't just shave this for nothing. I mean business. You look like Mr. Chris, and I'm enjoying his chin out to have a view. Anyway, no. Um, so I gotta go. We're gonna resolve, it, We're gonna resolve this. I'm gonna resolve it, babe. I'm gonna handle this. It's gonna get handled, and and we're gonna have a new dishwasher by the end of the day. Or by the end of the week. All right, I'm here, and uh, we're gonna see how this goes. Let's get in there. All right, so here's what happened. I went in there, and I told them, they're gonna give me my money back. What really happened was, they couldn't really give me a great discount on that, like 200 bucks, which would, you know, 200 bucks is 200 bucks. What they offered was to get us a brand new one for the same price that we paid for the open box one. So I was like, okay, um, kind of wish we had gotten it for a cheaper open box price. Um, but that's what we did. So the only thing that stinks too about it is that we have to come back here and pick it up. She couldn't get the delivery um, because I guess it goes through another company. So she couldn't waive the delivery fee. Maybe there was a way they could have done it, truly. She was super helpful though, so I don't want to say that she was and didn't do all that she could. I think she um, she was really helpful and super nice, and so it made that a much more pleasant experience. Um, so anyways, with that said, um, the we are gonna be getting a new dishwasher. It's just gonna be another uh, couple weeks almost what's today like a week and a half and I have to come back here and pick it up but it is what it is we're getting a new dishwasher and we got it at a um, discounted price so I can't complain and I got and she gave us a $50 gift card for some reason I don't know why so you know what there's that we have birthdays coming up this month three birthdays in December so we'll use that to go towards it so there you go.